everyone, my name is Iris Franz, which is Lian Ru. Today we're going to continue to talk about utility maximization. Now, for your reference, I'm using a McConnell Brew and Flynn's Microeconomics 21st edition, and uh, I am going over chapter 7. We're looking at table 7.1. So, in my previous video, we mentioned about how to maximize our utility. So first, you need to spend the entire budget. Next, you need to make sure that marginal utility per dollar must be equal for every single good at the last unit you purchase. So now we're going to take a look at an example. So suppose we have a budget $10 for fruit and we're going to buy exactly two kinds of fruit. The first is apple and the second is oranges. And the price of an apple is $1, the price of an orange is $2. Now, given table 7.1, you are given the marginal utility of each and every apple. The first apple's marginal utility is 10 units, and the second apple's marginal utility is 8 units, and so on and so forth. You're given this. And for oranges, um, the first orange's marginal utility is 24, and the second orange's marginal utility is 20, and so on and so forth. So what we need to do first is to calculate marginal utility per dollar. Now the price of an apple is one dollar, so marginal utility per dollar is just say 10 divided by 1, 8 divided by 1, and so on and so forth. So that's uh, straightforward. And for oranges, because the price of an orange is two dollars, so you divide the marginal utility 24 for the first unit of orange by 2, that's the price, then you get marginal utility per dollar for oranges. So the marginal utility per dollar for the first orange will be 24 divided by 2, and that gives you 12. For the second orange, the marginal utility per dollar will be 20 divided by 2, and that gives you 10, and so on and so forth. So the question asks you, since you have a budget of $10, how many apples and how many oranges are you going to buy? and how much total utility are you going to get. So how do we solve this problem? Here's a tip. Imagine yourself having a shopping basket which is empty and in your pocket you have $10. You are going to ask yourself, what do I put in my shopping basket next? So we're going to put the fruit items one by one instead of putting a bunch in the basket. No, we're going to do that one by one. So, what do you want to put next? You are going to calculate marginal utility per dollar. And the highest one will be the next one you're going to put in your shopping basket. So here's an example. Um, look at our marginal utility per dollar for apples and marginal utility per dollar for oranges. So what do I put next? Now that my shopping basket is empty, I'm going to look at marginal utility per dollar and see which one is the highest. Right now, it's 12 is the highest. And I find out, hey, that's the first orange. So I am going to put the first orange into my shopping basket. And at the same time, I'm going to keep tracking how much money I have left. So now that I put the first orange in my shopping basket, how much money do I have left? I know that the cost of an orange is $2. And I have a budget of $10. So I know after I put the first orange, I have exactly $8 left. 10 minus 2 is 8. And because the first orange has a marginal utility of 24, and therefore my total utility after putting this orange in my shopping basket will be exactly 24. So I'm going to put a mark showing that, hey, I have made a purchase, okay? So I have bought the first orange. I'm going to put a mark here. I bought this already, okay? So that's out. I'm not going to think about it anymore. And what am I going to do? Um, what am I going to put as a second item in my shopping basket? Am I going to put the first apple? Or am I going to put a second orange? No, I'm going to take a look at marginal utility per dollar. And notice that that's uh, exactly the same. Marginal utility per dollar for the first apple and for the second orange, they are the same. It's 10. So it doesn't matter which one I put next, whether it's the first apple or the second orange, it's not going to affect the result. So I just assume that I'm going to put the first apple. So I'm going to put the first apple as a second item in my shopping basket. 
and I know the price of an apple is one dollar. So after I put that apple, I have seven dollars left. And how would that affect my total utility? I know the marginal utility of an apple is ten, and therefore now my total utility will be ten plus twenty-four. That will give me thirty-four. And what do I put next? Well, don't forget to put a mark showing that hey, I have purchased the first apple already. Now, what do I buy next? I am going to buy the second orange instead of the second apple because the second orange gives me a higher marginal utility per dollar. So the third item I'm going to put in my shopping basket will be the second orange. And remember, you have to keep tracking how much money you have left. One orange costs you two dollars, so I have five dollars left. Seven minus two is equal to five. And what is my total utility? I know that the marginal utility of my second orange is twenty, and therefore I put a twenty here. And now I know my total utility will be thirty-four plus twenty. That gives me fifty-four. Now, what do I purchase next? Remember to put the mark here, so you know you have purchased the second orange. Now. What am I going to put next? Am I going to buy my third orange, or am I going to buy my second apple? Which one is higher? Well, obviously that's higher. So、um, nine is higher than eight. So the next item I'm going to put in my shopping basket will be the third orange. So you can see that I put the third orange, and how much money do I have left? The price of an orange is two dollars. So five minus two is three dollars. I have three dollars left after I purchase the third orange. Now, what is my total utility? I know the marginal utility of my third orange is eighteen, and therefore currently my total utility will be fifty-four plus eighteen. That gives me seventy-two. So now I have three dollars left. What do I buy?、Um, do I want to buy? So remember, we want to put a mark so don't get confused. So next, do I want to buy the fourth orange or do I want to buy、um, the second apple? Notice that they are the same, meaning、um, the marginal utility per dollar for the fourth orange or the second apple they will give you exactly the same marginal utility per dollar. So it doesn't matter whether you put the second apple next or you put the fourth orange next. So suppose you put the second apple, then、um, remember the price of an apple is one dollar. So、um, you have three minus one, that means two dollars left. And what is your current total utility? We know that the second apple will give you a marginal utility eight, and therefore your seventy-two、um, plus eight that gives you total utility eighty, and you have two dollars left. So we're going to put a mark. We bought our second apple. So what do I buy next? Do I want to buy the fourth orange? Or do I want to buy the third apple? Now the fourth orange gives you a marginal utility per dollar eight, and that is higher than the marginal utility per dollar for the third apple. So you are going to buy the fourth orange instead of the third apple. So we're going to buy the fourth orange, and notice that the orange costs two dollars. So you deplete your budget, and the marginal utility of that fourth orange is、uh, where are we? It's sixteen. So your total utility will be eighty plus sixteen. That gives you ninety-six. So eventually you spend the whole budget, and、um, you get four oranges and two apples in your shopping basket. You deplete the entire budget, and your total utility, also maximized utility, is ninety-six. Now I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.